Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to another Factions video. Now, I have dug out each corner of this area while I was waiting for the sugar canes to grow. I have a fair bit of sugar cane. I definitely think we'll be able to get some purchasing going this episode because I have been selling some, but I figured I'd save up some as well as wait for a full lot to grow. But let me actually do this torch thing I've been doing in the center parts. No, I don't want to place it on an ore. Uh, two, and I leave, I leave two spaces, and then I put a torch. Uh, and I just figure that will keep it lit up enough that I won't have to worry about mobs popping out of nowhere. But yeah, I've dug out the whole area here. I've had a few ideas with where I want to put a mob spawner, because that is what I'd like to do next. I'd like to buy a cow spawner and have it, uh, automatically burn the cows so I get free cooked food. Even though I have slash feed, uh, which works pretty good. But, you know, the leather will come in handy from books, and I can also kill them for experience. Not that that'd be very good experience, so... Actually, considering I can buy leather, you know, it really does seem not worth it now to buy the cow spawner, unless I actually need to use, uh, like, slash feed more often, so... You know, I'm actually not going to do that. We might buy a mob spawner in this episode, but yeah, got my chest sorted out. I don't know if I did that last episode as I've been doing a lot off camera and I'm trying not to because I, I like to show you guys the progression, but I've been at uh, other houses and I'm like, you know, I could, I could play some Minecraft right now. Uh, let's go mined and put that away. I forgot to put that in ores, but I'm pretty happy with like the little layout of chests we have going on. And, like, that goes there, and then we have mob loots over here, which, look at that, guys. We're going to have unlimited T TNT in no time. Uh, where's my reeds one? Ah, uh, sugar canes one. There it is. Uh, so I have that almost full, and then I think that one will, will need open because we'll be flooding over soon. Let me just collect a little bit of cobblestone to block the chest and unlock the chest. Now, what I'm going to do is harvest all of this sugarcane, and then I will be back at the shops with a full inventory of sugarcane. Uh, my herbal level is 170. I don't really know what that means, but I'm hoping in the future I'm getting double, like, sugarcanes, at least. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, oh, oh, I want to tell you where I want to put the mob spawner. So I've raised the roof here a bit as well. Uh, God, I just say that so often. I just... I don't get, I don't feel like many other people say that in their day-to-day -day life, but for some reason I do. Uh, oh, did I miss a bit of the tree? Anyway, having the mob spawner in the inner wall would be the most efficient because I wouldn't have uh, as high of a chance of losing it. But if I have it out in these squares, I'll be able to activate more at once. So let's say I go up 30 blocks and stand on a platform there. I could activate one there, one over there, one over there, one over there, and have four mob spawners going at once. And I know I can do that with the little amount of area, but it just seems more efficient to do it that way. So I'm in a bit of a pickle there. Uh, and I, it will be something I put some deep thought into as the mob spawners are extremely expensive and once I place it, I will not be able to unplace it until I get a Silk Touch pickaxe. So, I'm going to harvest all this, and then I'll be back. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode. Don't forget to leave a like. Okay, guys, so the trees are... Well, the sugar canes are all harvested. Now, I know when I was mining, I actually bumped into some, uh, diamond, but I didn't mine it for you guys because I like to mine it in front of you guys. Uh, I don't know why. It's just to see how many there is, really. Uh, but there it is, so... That's the only amount of diamond we've bumped into, though, recently, which isn't cool. I'm not very excited by that. I don't have... Ooh, a cave! Oh, that's probably the same cave as before. Silly me. Uh, but that's interesting. It's also a very big opening for people to get into our faction, uh, which is also awesome. I love that. Right, there we go. And oh, let's pop up here and have a look-see. I'd say it's the same cave as last time that I semi-ventured into. I do get multiple iron sometimes, guys. Uh, let's see if I can do it now. There, there we go. So I got two there. Now, the only issue with that is... is <laughs> dankest. Um, they are, actually, they can't really get into well, though. But this is helpful for them, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I, I'm level 200 now mining. I want to know if that gives me anything extra. Wow, I have not killed many mobs. I wonder if my swords increased, uh, helps my damage against other players, you know? 
Like, will that be an element? Should I be training? If I should be, I would love it in the comments because I'll go and train against, uh, like a mob spawner and we'll be pretty well off there. But let's go and, hmm, where's our... We have sugarcane there. I want to make another diamond pickaxe to enchant. Now, you guys told me I might as well do level 1s if I'm going to do uh, such low enchantments. But actually, actually, let's uh, just make a uh, ch enchanting table. But where where's the sugarcane? There we go. So let's put some in there. Awesome. And then we'll put some in, in there. There we go. And what do we need? We need obsidian. We need a bookshelf, so let's, uh, I think I put, uh, kind of, where, mob loots maybe? Where would my, f oh, farm, yeah, farmed, because you can farm cows. I have weird logic when I was making this, and I don't know if it was the smartest logic, but let's, uh, go and get some sugar canes. Let's go this many. I don't know how many this will make me. 32, and each book needs, like, three, so, you know, I might go and make a teeny bit more. If I need to, 21 books. Awesome, 21 books. Uh, we have two diamonds, which is perfect. Uh, it's almost as if I planned this, but I really didn't. Um, where should we put, we'll just go put this over in that corner. Uh, here, there we go. And now we need to make the bookshelves, which we need 15. So we need to actually, each one requires three. So we only have like six there or something. <laughs> Uh, so let's go and make some more books, which we can do like this, 21, oh god, I'm so confused with all this math. Oh no, alright, so I'm gonna have to go and buy some more leather, what I, I don't know if I should, no, I want to sell my sugar canes and have like a before and after, so I'm gonna go buy some leather, and I'm going to make an enchanting table, I'm not going to enchant this pickaxe just yet actually, because we want to do a level 30 on it, so that can go in tools. And yeah, uh, I will be back. Okay guys, so I went and bought some leather and I was about to make, I made all the books and then I realized I needed some more logs. So let's buy some logs. That should be enough to make the uh, bookshelves. And then I actually see there is a creeper spawner there guys. So uh, I was wrong. I don't know. I really, really felt like I had looked, but apparently I haven't. Oh wow, I made way too much wood, but there we go, we have enough bookshelves now, but here's the creeper spawner, it is $85,000, if you guys had seen that and I haven't, I apologize for how mad you were probably getting, because I know when there's something in my inventory, let's say I'm looking for one obsidian, and I'm like, where is it, where is it, let's say that's not obsidian by the way, and I scroll over it a few times and you guys are uh, like tagging the number like at 251, it is right there, uh, anyway, so I'm going to be buying the creeper spawner if I can, uh, let me go... Uh, I'll set up the enchantment table, and then I'm going to begin selling the, uh, the stuff we have. What's it called? Sugarcane. So I have 27,992 at the moment, and 12 cents. And I'm gonna sell it all, and hopefully we have a heap more when I get back. Okay, guys, so after selling all of that stuff, even our cobblestone, I only have $45,000. I also enchanted that pickaxe with a level 11 enchantment and got junk because... This one was breaking, and I've made some hoppers. Uh, they weren't too hard because we do have some iron anyway. But yeah, it was disappointing to not even really be close. Uh, should Wait, wait, wait. That should go on wood. I do have a uh, beacon. Someone threw it to me, and I... They wouldn't let me not go with it. Every time I tried to warp, they kept giving it back. Did I put that in that chest? I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I've been doing some planning and if I build a creeper spawner in this center lot, I can actually put four of them and have the perfect spawn radius and have them all like in these four blocks where the water is. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to have it, I'm going to have them land here because actually I might lower this roof even one more level, you know, got to get the most out of it. Then it get, huh. Hmm, I, I think I'll change how I use, like, the sugarcane farm. So I might actually lower this down to level 2 just to be even more resource uh, intensive or protective. Before, I really feel like I showed my coordinates, which is going to be disappointing because I feel like I'm going to get raided. But what I need to do now is dig all of this out. Uh, enough to drop 25 blocks, I believe it is. I'll do the calculation. I think it's 23, 25. I know it's somewhere near there. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna have the creepers get- I'm, I wasn't going to funnel them to one point, but it turns out it would be smarter to do that because then I can use them for experience too. Actually, if they do block damage or- and one will blow up all of them. No, no, I'm just gonna have them drop. I think that's the best option. So, yeah, I've gotta go over 25 blocks up and then have them all drop down. I think I'm gonna dig out one little corner part first, but, you know, it's only one off because- if you go four from this wall, so let's say that's this wall, and you go one, two, three, and four, and then this is where the spawner will be, and then you go four from here, it stops one away from the wall, you know? So it's really not that beneficial to dig out, dig it out like that, but if while we're digging, because the whole point of us digging is to be able to uh, do some farming and gain some crops. Oh, actually... We should plant this area now. That would be the most efficient way to get the most out of everything. So, I think I will do that. I think what I'm going to do is get some dirt and we'll, we'll do the marking out now. And then when I uh, come back, it will all be done. And we should be hopefully digging out for a creeper spawner. Where is dirt? Oh, it's over here. Don't worry. Got it, guys. So got it. Wow, you guys just watched me walk in circles like four times. Is this not the highest quality of content? Alright, here we go. So, we would have water here. Water here. Water there. Water there. And... Ooh. That's a... We're in quite a pickle here, aren't we? I could have... Hmm... Yeah, see, if I do it that way, I am wasting one line here. But... Hmm... There's gotta, there's gotta be a better way! <laughs> um... <laughs> well, I do not know what's wrong with me, guys. Uh... I've gotta think! I suppose... This seems like the only way to... You, or I could do the checkered pattern thing. But I'm not a fan of doing that. Because that means I'm gonna need wool. And I don't know if they sell wool in the shop, so that's actually something I could look for. Uh, how would the checkered, the checkered pattern goes like that? And you have water in all the gaps, I believe is how it works. And I think that would fit a bit better and be less wastage. That actually, would it? I really don't feel like it would be much different. Um, I think the whole idea is it's actually easier to harvest. But, you know, like, I've got this one set up like that anyway. Ooh, doing the whole thing as a checkered pattern would be cool, but that's that's resetting all of this up, and I'm not really down for doing that, unless I can buy wool or lily pads. So let's go warp shop, and if I can buy wool or lily pads and they're not too expensive, I will buy them, make this the checkered pack pattern design, and then I will be able to have the most efficientness I can, as well as being really weird with how I like things symmetrical. So, over here, mob loot, armor. I was gonna buy some armor, but you know, I'd rather have this mob spawner to help make some more money first. And I'm not gonna be able to do that if I spend it on armor that I'm not even able to use yet. Then again, a nice raid would be excellent. Alright, so I, because I am a YouTuber rank, have a possible kit that will give me all this epic stuff. I haven't used it yet because I don't like doing that, but if the next episode doesn't contain any PvP, I promise you guys I will use that kit and then I will do some PvPing. Uh, but from the looks of it, like I mentioned, I don't think there is any uh, lily pads or uh, wool in here, so I am going to have to just deal with it being not symmetrical and... I shall be back when I've got that all set up. Okay guys, so I have developed a method to uh, get rid of the water here, and if you don't know where I am, I'm actually at the top of my faction, near where the ocean is. Like I mentioned earlier, there is an ocean above me, but it actually has some real big dips, you know? Like, you see how I did that motion? That's me representing the big dips. And yeah, there's some, like, water issues, and I really have to treat the water like lava, or else I'm just never gonna be able to get rid of it, because I'd get rid of one bit, and then another bit would kind of bring that other bit back, and it was just, it, it's like a battle that I can't win. Uh, I'm really liking the fact that the bottom of the ocean was lined with gravel. It has made it a tiny bit easier to deal with, but I've still got a lot more to do, and, you know, it's going to take a while to dig this out. L uh, luckily for me, and kind of annoyingly for me, uh, I someone did give me some money. I have a hundred and... 5,000. I have not been farming. I've just been up here trying to soak up stuff with uh, 
sponges and trying different methods to get rid of this water. And yeah, someone had has given me some money, so thank you to them. Uh, it will make the next episode like a definite PvP one, and hopefully we can actually get a creeper spawner going in this one too, which will also be exciting. Anyway, I'm going to slowly continue getting rid of this water, and then you guys can join me for our first creeper spawner. Okay, my friends, so I have gotten distracted once again. I decided, like, I wanted to raise the roof more, which once again has been said. So what I've done is gone to each corner of our location. Does not look symmetrical to me, so I'm a bit worried that I've done it wrong. And I actually have just been placing gravel. Uh, this line did fall down because I broke a hole in the roof and it fell down. Uh, but yeah, and I'm going to place it two with two blocks of water and then the uh, obsidian will also go at this height as well. And that is the plan to expand the room but still have the ocean around me. Uh, the walls here will be needing like placing but you guys will not be able to see right now if you're not watching full screen you are not going to be seeing anything but yeah i just wanted to go in here and place like cobblestone around the outside to make uh a casing so the water doesn't leak in from the sides and then basically i can have my uh obsidian and water combination on the inside and you know if they hit the cobblestone what's it gonna do they've still got to shoot at the uh the obsidian and break through that as well uh, so that's that. That's what I've been doing, but I did run out of materials. So if we go to this hole here, uh, this is actually the room we have and we the one we finally got all the water out of. Uh, and as you can see, I slowly raised the roof. God, all the time. Yeah, I slowly raised the roof, but it was just too hard uh, without doing this method. This method's going to be quicker and easier in the long run. Uh, and then down here what I'm doing is whenever I'm, obviously because I'm not running on too much gravel and sand anymore, uh, and I need stone to do the walls, I figured I would just dig all the way down. We will drop into our little area that we've already built, and that's how I'm going to dig all of this down for the creepers, and that will be how I make my uh, platforms. I also increase my acrobatics doing this. Anyway, uh, that's all for this episode. This episode should be posted on my birthday, so thank you all for the birthday wishes. I know you guys will give them. You do every year. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoyed, feel free to smack that birthday like button. Hint, hint, hint. I love you guys. Bye!